सो हे एवरी वन माई नेम इज़ साहिर एंड आई वेलकम यू ऑल अगेन टू दिस अमेजिंग सेशन एंड इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू मेक द ऑयल ट्रे विच इज एक्चुअली बिनीथ द क्रैंक शाफ्ट फॉर कंटेनिंग ऑल द ऑयल फॉर ग्रीसिंग द क्रैंक शाफ्ट एंड द कनेक्टिंग रॉड्स इज वेल राइट ऑल द ग्रीसिंग पार्ट विच हैपन्स इन साइड दैट चेम्बर ऑल दैट फ्रॉम दैट ऑयल ओनली विच इज ऑन द ऑयल ट्रे राइट सो we are going to make that and before that i'm going to make some changes in this uh cylinder block right i'm going to make an extra edge over here so that we can actually connect those two together right so yeah let's just do that first or let me just show you how a oil tray looks like right so as you can see this this part over here this component is actually the oil tray which contains all the oils from these parts now and if i show you some more images of it then this is also an example of oil tray and for a simple understanding this is how an oil tray looks like right all the oils come from here and stores over here and there is a opening on the bottom side of it where you use this gas gasket and a drain plug is connected if you want to change the oil you can change it from there right now let me just close this and Let's make some changes over here. First of all, let's just click on this. Go to sketch. Let's click on convert. And let's choose this one as well. Let's click on convert. Right. Now, I want to connect these two. So, I just connect this by line. And after that, we'll just delete the middle lines by using frame feature. Right. Just like that. If you haven't seen the video of making the cylinder block, then you can check the link in the description. Just go through that video and you will get an understanding of how you can make this cylinder block, right? Let's just delete all these edges and yeah, we are good to go. Right, now we have a sketch covering the whole boundary, right? Now what we can do, we can just simply click on features go to extrude or let's not extrude it actually let's just off give it give it an offset okay let's go to bottom face let's give it an offset go to sketch click on offset there you go right now what we can do we can just simply increase this length yeah this is fine or let's just give it a 0 0.04 yeah there you go right now i don't want these lines over here i actually want to make a an outer edge from there we can actually connect the oil tray to it right so yeah this is fine and just because we have a hole half hole over here to connect the crankshaft right so we have we need some gap on the bottom side as well so for that what we can do we can just simply avoid this portion or we can cut it again if that is needed yeah let's just do that let's just avoid making this one over here okay there you go and let's read this one as well just like that now you can just connect these lines together to make it closed right just like that and now if i show you this one is it open from anywhere no, let me just check I think it is closed. Let's try to extrude it. Let's go to extrude. Yeah, it is extruding. Let's extrude it downwards. Or let's just extrude it upwards actually. Yeah, this gives us an, a good image and it won't you know, come in between of this geometry after connecting. So let's just it and let's give it a thickness of 0 
there you go right now we have this edge now we can make some holes on it and similar to those holes we can make some holes on the bottom oil tray which we are going to make and we can connect them by using screws or whichever thing you want to connect them right so let's just make some holes in it let's make an axis in the middle let's choose a circle and let's make a circle over here in the middle so what i can do i can just simply make two axes one is from there to here and one is from here to here right now i can just choose a circle and you can select these midpoints take reference from them and you can make it right over here right and let's give it a radius of let's say 0 0.01 this is fine now we can give it a linear pattern on the other side so to do that you can actually just choose linear sketch pattern choose the sketch let's increase it to 4 and increase the gap Okay, this is not in the middle so let's just avoid using linear sketch pattern this length is actually a bit disturbed so that's why it's not exact in the middle but to avoid that what you can do you can just simply use middle axis right you can make a middle line over here and from this point let's just make a linear pattern of just two and let's give it a gap of let's say yeah this looks fine right we can just mirror this or let's just increase this gap a little bit more let's say 0 0.4 yeah this is fine now we can just click on ok and we can mirror these two on the other side just click on mirror choose these two circles click on mirror about and choose this axis there you go now what you can do, you can just delete this axis, choose all these sketches, go to mirror and go to mirror, okay, we have mirrored about that axis, we don't want that, let's just click on control Z, let's first go to exit from that mirror tool, yeah, there you go, now in this okay these axes are also selected so let's just avoid them let's select this one and let's select these circles right now you can just click on mirror and in this mirror about just choose this axis click on okay there you go you have these four holes right now we can just cut it just go to cut feature and just cut it downwards okay okay because we have a line over here that's why it is creating issues don't worry you can just select these all four holes one by one right just like that there you go just click on okay and there you have it right you have all those folds to connect with the oil tray now you can just move on to the next step which is basically the oil tray so for that i'm going to take some dimensions from here or uh, let's say let's just uh, you know measure this dimensions let's go to evaluate let's go to measure and let's see how much gap it has from this point to this point over here <laughs> This distance okay it is quite messed up so let's just avoid taking dimensions from measure what we can do we can just simply now make a sketch on the surface and we can copy it on the other side to give the exact same dimensions right what we can do we can just simply 
yeah we are in sketch mode just click on convert select this edge click on convert and let's choose a line and let's connect them right just like that and let's use this one as well right now we have the complete sketch now just click on exit and if I just just go back again and just select all these edges click on control C to copy and just exit the sketch right and just save it and you can close this file let's open a new part And in this, let's go to top plane and just press Ctrl V. And there you have this similar sketch, right? Exactly in the center, or it might not be present in the center. You can make it, but we don't need that. So let's just avoid that and let's just extrude it downward so that we have some geometry and then we can move on to the next steps, right? So let's just extrude this. First of all, let's just edit it. If I go to the top plane again, then let's just delete these edges from the middle. Right. Click on extrude. And there you go. Just give it a radius of, let's say, 0 0.03, 0 0.04. Or let's give it 0 0.05 yeah this is fine just click on okay and there you have this boundary right now we can make the inner portion of it like that kind of sweep thing so that oil all the oil goes to that deep cut over there right so for that what you can do first of all we have to set the middle plane which is over here right click on it go to sketch and or before that just click on the section view over here click on okay right now you can see this boundary over here so you can just sketch it from here right again go to front view now what you can do you can just simply choose this sweep surface sorry spline tool and just make a surface like which you want it to make right something like this We can adjust it by according to the need but first which i am going to do is i am going to give this arrow over here a horizontal one yes just like that and similar to this one over here as well select this arrow and give it our horizontal one right now we can adjust these points to get the desired curve just like that right and on the bottom side I actually prefer to make a straight line instead let's make a straight line over here something like this right and what we can do we can just simply first of all just make sure it is completely horizontal Click on horizontal and yeah there you go let's go to trim feature and delete the bottom part from here delete these extra parts there you have it now let's just edit this one over here let's get this one a horizontal one on or you can just leave it over here as well or what you can do let's try to fillet it if we can yeah we can let's just fillet it and let's just increase this radius to 0 0.04 there you go this looks pretty decent now what we can do we can just simply click on ok and let's give it an offset let's give this whole sketch an offset to inwards and let's increase this gap to this point right until it's connect to the top point over there let's click on ok 
there you go right now what we can do we can just simply close these edges by using straight line okay yeah, i guess it is closed let's try to extrude it let's click on extrude yeah we can so before that i prefer you to switch off the section view yeah now you can just extrude it again go to up to surface instead of blind and choose the surface over here and for the other side direction 2 again from blind to up to surface and select the surface and click on ok right so you have this structure ready now what you can do you can just simply close these open ends by using uh, extrude surface tool extrude feature extrude feature i just click on the sketch click on convert you have this whole body you know uh, traced on the outer edges so what you can do you can just simply uh, delete this line from here this from here this one from here and this curve from here and you can just simply connect them right to make the whole thing closed just like that right and just make sure it is over there yeah that is now if i see from this view yeah it is pretty much closed now we, let's try to extrude it let's go to blind and this much thickness is fine we can just click on ok there you go from this side it is completely closed right we can do the same thing over here as well or you can just use mirror right let's just go to mirror and let's select the middle pane which we have over here and in this features let's just select this okay not this one i want to select this one yes just click on okay there you go right you have the structure ready now you can just make a hole over here in the middle take reference from these points these middle points over there right and one middle point will be here as well there you go let's give it a some dimension of let's say something around 0 0.06 right now we can just close this and let's cut it out right just click on ok there you go you have this whole structure ready right now i can just simply make all the similar holes on this body to get connected with that upper upper uh, cylinder block right so yeah that's it for this video and in the next video we are going to uh, start the assembly part and we are going to assemble all the parts which we made till now right so don't miss that video and yeah that's it for today's video thank you so much